Miley Cyrus came out with a new song exactly on her ex-husband's birthday Liam Hemsworth called Flowers. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Let's get right into it. I recently just went through a very public divorce that sucked. Firstly, a Twitter account said this. The house where Flowers was recorded was previously used by Liam Hemsworth to cheat on Miley with more than 14 women while they were married. The tweet itself is not confirmed, but it still went viral and Liam gained even more haters. One of those 14 women is suspected to be Jennifer Lawrence after this interview resurfaced. Have you two ever kissed when the cameras weren't rolling? Liam and I grew up together. Liam's real hot. What would you have done? I would, yes. <laughs> I would say yes. Yeah. This interview was back in 2015 and Miley and Liam have been together since 2009. But, let's not forget they have been on and off during all of their relationship. Another possible hint could be the gold dress Miley wears in the music video. Is Miley giving us a hint on who Liam cheated on her with? Miley Cyrus wore this dress in the Flowers music video on purpose. And as for Liam Hemsworth's current girlfriend who he has been with for over three years was Miley's backup dancer. She has a very distinct freckle pattern on her arm. I wonder where he met her. At the beginning of the Flowers music video Miley gave away a few hints that indicate the song has to be about Liam Hemsworth. Miley and watched it burn. Back in 2018, devastating wildfires in California occurred. Miley Cyrus and Liam lost their home. Not only was this a hard time for them, but Miley revealed in an interview with Howard Stern that that fire may have been the reason the couple decided to get married. Sounds like a perfect lyric to start off a breakup song. Miley Cyrus is Sirth always wears a black jacket and trousers. And I really mean it when I say always. Some think it could have something to do with what happened at the Avengers Endgame red carpet premiere. A popular clip where Miley is seen with Liam, pushing his hand away. Nope. Some fans believe that this is the house where Liam Hemsworth may have cheated on Miley during their relationship. Others speculate that the house is the Studio City home that Miley had purchased herself in 2011, as a symbol of her independence. Either way, it's clear that this filming location was not a coincidence. Another cool hint is that the song Flowers featured a chorus that sounds oddly familiar to Bruno Mars's When I Was Your Man. This is because Liam dedicated that song to Miley and even danced to it on the day of their wedding together. Miley seems to even respond line by line to Bruno Mars's chorus with the exchange of Bruno singing, I should have bought you flowers, and Miley responding with, I can buy myself flowers. And held your hand. And I can hold my own hand. Should have gave you all my hours. Talk to myself for hours. Take you to every party cause all you wanted to do was dance. I can take myself dancing. Flowers is also not the first song Miley dedicates to Liam. Everybody has probably heard already about Wrecking Ball, published back in 2013. Swing around naked on a wrecking ball lives forever. forever. <laughs> Once you do that, it's forever. Yeah. I'm never living that down. I will always be the naked girl on a wrecking ball. <laughs> Licking forever. a sledgehammer. That's call. my worst nightmare, is that being like played at my funeral. This means that the song was made after one of their first breakups. They loved each other very much, but I guess they were not meant to be. Alternatively, another Liam song in Malibu was written after their 2015 reconciliation. I want to thank you with all my heart. It's a new beginning, a dream come true. Their whole relationship was a roller coaster, and I feel very sad for Miley. What do you guys think? Does Liam deserve all the hate? Let me know in the comments. I'll answer all of them. Subscribe to never miss out on explanations of the latest news. See you next video guys.